Welcome students. This chapter will teach you how to start coding with Scratch. Beginning with creating a custom sprite. You have already learned how to add a new sprite from the library. You can also create your own sprite using drawing and painting tools in Scratch. There are various drawings and painting tools available in Scratch 3. Let's start by creating a sprite using drawing and painting tools. You can use various drawings and painting tools to create your own custom sprites. Some of the tools used for drawing and painting are described below. Select tool is used to move, stretch, compress or rotate a sprite. When you select an object, a blue box appears around. You can move the box by grabbing its center and moving the mouse. Reshape tool is used to bend or change the shape of a sprite. When you click on the shape once, reshape points will appear on the shape. Click and drag the points to change the shape. Brush tool is used to draw a sprite. To draw, you have to hold the mouse on the canvas and then click and drag it. Erase tool is used to erase a part of the drawing. Select the eraser and place it on the part which you want to erase. To erase, click and drag the mouse with the left button pressed and release it when you are done. Fill tool is to change the color of objects. Select the fill tool, then select the color you want to give to the object. Place the mouse on the object and click on it to color. You cannot fill the background with this tool. Text tool is used to type text on the canvas. To type text, click the text tool and click anywhere on the canvas. When a cursor appears, type your text. Click on a blank area to exit the text editor. You can also edit typed text by clicking on existing text with the text tool. Line tool is used to draw straight lines. To draw a line, click the line tool and drag the mouse on the canvas with the left button pressed. Release the button when you are done. To draw a curved line, first draw a straight line. Then select the line using the reshape tool. Drag the line using a point on it to get a curved line. Circle tool is for drawing a circle or an oval. To draw an oval shape, Click the circle tool. Then, pressing the left button, drag the mouse on the canvas. To draw a perfect circle, press the shift key along with the left button of the mouse and drag it on the canvas. And the rectangle tool is used to draw a rectangle on a square. To draw a rectangle, click the rectangle tool. Then, pressing the left button, drag the mouse on the canvas. To draw a square, press the shift key along with the left button of the mouse and drag it on the canvas. Steps to create a custom sprite are Firstly, move the mouse on the Choose a Sprite option to get different options to add a sprite. Then, click the Paint option. The Scratch Paint window appears as shown below. Then, draw a sprite of your choice using the drawing and painting tools and your sprite will now be on the stage. Now, creating a costume for a custom sprite. Costumes are different poses or appearances of a sprite. Mainly, costumes are used to create an animation for a game. You can use costumes to make the sprite appear to run, walk or dance. You can create name, edit and delete any number of costumes but every sprite must have at least one costume. Steps to create another costume of a sprite are to right click on the costume of the sprite and select the duplicate option. A copy of the sprite is created so you can modify this sprite to make another costume. You can create as many costumes as you need. Moving on to creating a custom backdrop. You know that a backdrop is an image that can be shown as the background of the stage. You can create your own backdrop just as you create your own sprite. Steps to create a custom backdrop are to click the paint option in the stage section to open the scratch paint editor. Then draw and paint your own backdrop using the drawing and painting tools. And then create the backdrop using the circle and fill tool as shown in the picture. 
Your backdrop will now be on the stage. Next is using looks blocks. Looks blocks are used to change the look and appearance of a sprite. You can also apply several effects to your sprite using looks blocks. Some of the looks blocks to apply effects are described below. This block is used to change the color of the sprite. This is used to give a closer and wider view of the sprite rather than a normal view. This block is used to twist the sprite around its center point as shown and this is used to clear all the graphic effects used on the sprite. Here is an example. The following script shows how to give image effects to the cat sprite using the looks blocks. The explanation is that when the user clicks on the go icon, image effects such as color, fish eye and world would be applied to the sprite. You know that events blocks are used to start the execution of sprites. You have already used them when green flag is clicked block and the when key pressed blocks to execute scripts. Let us look at some more ways to trigger the execution of scripts. When this sprite is clicked, this block will execute the script whenever the sprite is clicked. When the backdrop switches to this, this block will execute the script when the backdrop changes to another backdrop. An example is the script given will execute when you click on the cat sprite. Its explanation being that when the user clicks on the cat sprite, the color of the cat will change by the value of 25. Next, using control blocks. Control blocks are used to control the execution of a script. The wait seconds block is used to pause a script for a specified number of seconds. For the repeat block, the blocks placed inside them will run in a loop for the specified number of times. And for the forever block, the blocks placed inside the forever block will run continuously in a loop. An example is the given script shows how to show the sprite moving forward using the various control blocks. Its explanation is that when the user clicks on the cat sprite, the sprite will move 25 steps ahead and wait for 2 seconds and repeat the same step one more time. Another example is that the given script shows how to use the forever block. The explanation is when the user clicks on the cat sprite, the sprite will turn 45 degrees clockwise and wait for one second. These blocks will run continuously in a loop. Next, using sound blocks. You know that sound blocks are used to make a sprite play different sounds. Scratch provides us with many more blocks to control the volume pitch and duration of the sound played. The change effect by block will change the pitch of the sound effect by the specified value. The set effect to block will set the pitch to the specified value. Change volume by block will increase or decrease the volume of the sound by the specified value. If you add a positive value, the volume of the sound will increase. If you add a negative value, the volume of the sound will decrease. And the clear sound effects block will clear the sound that is applied. An example is that the following script is given for the cat sprite. It shows how to change the pitch of the sound effect by a specified value using the sound blocks. The explanation being, when the user clicks on the cat sprite, it will change the pitch of the sound effect by the value 40 and play the meow sound. Then, it will change the pitch of the sound effect by the value 80 and play the meow sound. Another example is that the following script shows how to decrease the volume of the sound by a specified value using the sound blocks. The explanation is that when the user clicks on the cat sprite, it will decrease the volume of the sound by a value of minus 20. Now, adding new sounds. By default, whenever you add a sprite from the library, a sound associated with that sprite gets added to the project. This sound can be seen in the sounds tab. You can add additional sounds for a sprite by adding it from the library by recording it or uploading a sound file from your computer. 
leading on to adding sound to a sprite. You can add sound to a sprite in different ways. When the mouse hovers or the choose a sound option, you get different options to add a sound to a sprite. The choose a sound option allows you to select a sound from the library. The record option allows you to record your own sound. The surprise option is used to add a random sound from the library. And the upload sound option is used to add a sound saved on your computer. Steps to add a sound for a sprite are First, click the sound tab. Then, hover the mouse on the click a sound option to get different options to add a sound. Select the choose a sound option and select the sound file. Click the play button to listen to the sound before including it in the script. That's about it students. A detailed look at Scratch and I'm sure you guys learnt a lot today. See you soon. Bye.